Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the differences between implicit and explicit differentiation. So first let's talk about explicit. So if you have something like y equals, let's say, x squared plus sine x. Here y is being explicitly defined in terms of x. So over here you only have x's, so only x's. You don't have any y's here. You could easily take the derivative here, so y prime would be 2x using the power rule, and the derivative of sine is cosine. Piece of cake. So here y is explicitly defined in terms of x. We only have x's. We could have a number here. Let's do it. 4. The answer still remains the same. So there's no other y's here, right? There's no y's here. So that's what we mean by explicit differentiation. y is explicitly given, and we can find the derivative. Implicit is a bit different. So in implicit differentiation, y is implicitly defined by an equation. So for example, you could have x squared y to the fourth equals 7. So in this case, we don't have y. We just have an equation, and y is in that equation. So it's mixed in with the x's and y's. So the goal is to find y prime, except we tend to call it dy dx when we do implicit differentiation. So the goal is to find the derivative without actually finding y. Let's go ahead and do an example, and I'll show you how to do it. So to find the derivative of y without finding y, we have to take the derivative of both sides of this equation. Now on the left-hand side, we have x squared times y to the fourth. That's going to require the product rule. Recall the product rule says if you have f times g, and you take the derivative, think of f as the first piece and g as the second piece. So it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. So in this case, it's the derivative of x squared, so it's 2x times the second plus the first, so just x squared. And here's the tricky part. Now we're going to multiply by the derivative of y to the fourth. Now we're taking the derivative with respect to x. So we have y to a power. So when we take that derivative, we put the 4 in the front, so we get 4, and then we get 4y, we subtract the 1, so we get 4y cubed, but then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside piece. So the inside piece here is just y. So what's the derivative of y? Well, that's just y prime or dy dx, so we just write dy dx. Okay, so whenever you're using implicit and you take a derivative and there's a y, you always have to put a dy dx. And this is equal to, and then here the derivative of 7 is 0. So it comes from the chain rule, right? This is from the chain rule. Then to finish, you would just solve this for a dy dx. Let's go ahead and do it. We would subtract this piece, so we would get 4x squared y cubed dy dx equals negative 2x y to the fourth. And then to finish, we would divide by 4x squared y cubed, 4x squared y cubed. These cancel, and so this is equal to dy dx equals, let's be really careful here, so the 2 and the 4, that's going to give us a negative 1 half. The x and the x squared is going to leave us with an x in the bottom, and the y to the 4th and the y cubed leaves us with a, with a y up top. So we found the derivative of y without finding y. And again, the tricky part is this part here. This is the part that people have a really hard time with. It's just the chain rule. So if you had like y to the fifth, and you were taking the derivative with respect to x, that's what this means, ddx, you would just get, you bring down the 5, so you get 5y to the fourth times the derivative of your inside function. Your inside function is y, so you would just get dy dx. So in explicit, you have a formula for y, and you can just take the derivative like you normally do. In implicit, you don't have a formula for y, so you just take the derivative of both sides and go with it, right? Um, and then whenever you have a y, you have to remember to use the chain rule. That's it.